All right, folks, we're doing a little test here. Doing a little test with the iPhone. I'm going to take you for I'm going to take you for a motorbike ride and I'm going to see how the audio works out. Basically, what I've got, I've got my uh, I've got my iPhone clipped clipped to my bag and I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Maybe if I put it up here on my chest and try to get it to ride right there. Because I had it down by my side. But it, it, does, it flaps in the wind. So I think I got to put it right here in front. Front and center. And I'll have to figure out the best way to clip this guy. We're right here. Right here in Patia, Thailand, and today I've got to go over and pick up a pair of pants that I'm having altered over at my tailor shop. And I'm going to tell you, if you come to Patia and you need a suit, you need a tailor, you need anything altered. I mean, especially if you're if you're looking for a new suit, I'm going to show you how to get over there. But the name of the place is AMA Fashion. They've been in business a long time. You can go to, you know, check the check the web, check the reviews on uh, TripAdvisor, all all of the travel websites where people have left reviews. Uh, it's probably the best tailor in Thailand. Um, and I, I, you know, I base my, sorry. Fucking bouncy as shit here. I base my recommendations just like, you know, hotel or restaurant. I don't base it on one thing. I base it on the overall experience I have. And that's whether or not I'm going to go back and whether or not I'm going to recommend something to others. But my overall experience a few months ago about getting my, my new suits, I basically made a I, I said, you know what, for my birthday, my 45th birthday, I'm getting me some new suits. And folks, I got three of the most badass gangster looking suits uh, that I've ever owned. They fit perfect because they are custom made. And I'm going to tell you this. If you don't like to wear a suit, I can tell you the exact reason why you don't like it. And the, that reason is because the son of a bitch doesn't fit you. You pull it off the rack, just like I did when I lived in America. You know, you go around fucking hunting a goddamn on something on sale at Macy's or J.C. Penney's or wherever the hell you're shopping. Because in America, a custom suit is too expensive. You can't afford the damn thing. Well, guess what, folks? This ain't America. This is Thailand. And certain things over here are much cheaper. Well, most everything. Most everything is much cheaper. But certain things that would cost you, you know, $1,500 to $3,000 in America, you know, you can come over here and get quite uh, get, get it at a reasonable price and a custom made suit is one of those things but I'm gonna say it again I'm gonna tell you the reason why if, if you're from the West I gotta say this about anybody really the, re the main reason why people don't like to wear suits because they don't fit right that's why I didn't like to wear a suit all the time is is because it just never fit right. It was either too big, too small, too tight, didn't look right, it looked too big. And I think that was like my biggest gripe all the time. All my all my shit was just too big. But these guys made me three badass suits. You can check out my other videos. Go go to the video that I made in uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, where I went on the desert safari with my, my one suit. And folks, you know, everybody else is dressed like tourists. 
I was rocking out this three-piece gangster suit and the damn billy dancer just couldn't keep her hands off of me. You can watch the video. But if, if you do not have a custom-made suit and you're a male from America, okay, you, you need a suit. And as a matter of fact, you, you need three. Instead of investing in a nicer car that nobody gives a shit about, instead of investing in that damn Mercedes or whatever bullshit you think you're going to try to, you know, use to impress the neighbors, which most people think about it. In the business world, unless you're giving clients rides or taking them to lunch or something, they don't, they never see your fucking car. You're spending all this money on a car so you can impress the neighbors. But what does people see every day when you're at work or in a restaurant? Well, they obviously see your attire. It's about what you're wearing. Okay, people that you come in contact with every day who are making decisions whether or not they want to hire you for your service or whether or not they want to do business with you. They don't know where you live, they can't see your house, and they can't see your car. If, if, we're, if we're sitting at a closing table, I think I'm about to run out of gas, i got to make it past this light. If we're sitting at a closing table, am I looking at your house and what neighborhood you live in? Am I looking at your car? And the answer is no. I'm looking straight at you about what you're wearing. You know, you're, you're obviously how you're, what your hair looks like. Are you fucking well-groomed or not? And I might be looking at your briefcase because that's sitting on the table. I'm not looking at your car. I'm not looking at your house or your neighborhood. I tell that long-ass story to say, if you, if you happen to come over here to Thailand, get you three suits made, custom-made. And I'll show you how the gas station works here. You just tell them what you want. I go with the 95. So just tell them I want. That's like the super unleaded. You can get the cheaper, the 91. But I go with the 95. Yeah, my tank is bone dry. Ah, a Tim crap. Okay, folks, a 70 bot got it filled up. All right, the cap back on. And folks, I'm going to pull over here and make a little adjust adjustment to the camera. Got gas at the gas station. Like I said, the, the gas stations here in Thailand, they're all full service. When you pull in, you don't, you just, uh, if you're in a motorbike, just pop the, pop the seat where they can get to it. But it's full service is what I'm trying to tell you. Like America used to be back when America was a great place to live. But here, here in Thailand, everything's uh, you know full service. So it takes about 70 baht to fill up this motorbike. If it's really bone dry, I could probably get 80 baht worth of fuel in there. But 70 baht, that's uh, that two two dollars and fifty cents somewhere in there. Two two dollars fifty cents. Fill this thing up. All right, so I just turn on to uh, the street right here. It's called Patty and Nua. Okay, so we're in north and yeah, north section of the city. But we're headed over towards the direction of the beach. So this this. 
This road right here runs from Circumvent Road all the way over to the beach. It'll pop out by the uh, Dolphin, what we call the Dolphin Roundabout. I'll show you here in a second. We get to the Dolphin Roundabout. Well, actually, there's a new place called Terminal 21. Uh, it's not open yet, or if it is, I'm not aware. It's still in construction, but it's a new mall. I'll show you just in a second. It's pretty cool. They got a damn, looks like a air, damn Airbus 320 out there on a pedestal. A couple aircrafts. So it's kind of model after an airport. All right, back to what I was talking about earlier about these suits. I'm going to take you and I'm going to show you my spot called AMA fashion okay everybody in there speaks English it's owned by uh, a Thai gentleman and his brother Chris and I, I can't remember his brother's name I don't even, I don't know if I've ever met his brother Chris is the nicest guy all of his staff in there uh, just good people I think I think they're or at least a few of them are, are from India. I can't remember their nationalities. I mean, it really doesn't matter. The, the point is that everybody speaks English. So if you're concerned about that, don't be because they they speak English. They know the trade. Um, they know the fashion. And if you're like me, you know, just a you know a dumbass who don't know shit about suits and fashion. You know, for years I've been wearing nothing but tank tops and dressing like a dumbass drunk tourist. And even in the States, I mean, I thought I'd dress pretty good at times, but I don't know shit about fabrics and fashions and how you're supposed to wear it, how it's supposed to, you know. I knew nothing of that, so when I stumbled into their shop, I basically, all I knew was, hey, I'm looking for... I'm looking for some badass suits, you know, I'm not here, I don't want to look like the, I don't want to look like some, uh, you know, cheap, cheap bastard who works for the U.S. government and wears this off the rack shit from JCPenney's, I don't want to look like I work for IBM, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, okay, this is Terminal 21 here, this is this new mall can see it but I just told these guys I don't want some badass suits you know I want I want to fucking look good I want to feel good you know I want them to be comfortable where I'm comfortable wearing the damn things and you know I want these things I basically want to walk out of there looking like a gangster <laughs> and my friends they they accomplished it you just watch, watch me dancing with that belly dancer in the middle of the fucking desert. Alright, this is Terminal 21. New place that's uh, still under construction. It's still under construction here. But you can see they got... They got... Uh, damn full-size aircraft. And I might take a walking tour. Let me take you guys on a walking tour of Patia. And I apologize for I'm constantly fucking with this thing. What it's doing, it's not tight enough. It's sliding down the strap. But I think from the initial test of, you know, putting the uh, headset on inside this full face helmet, that it's cut down the wind noise where I can actually take you motorbike touring and get halfway decent audio without me having to go back and do a voiceover. All right, we just passed the Dolphin Roundabout and Terminal 21, the new spot. And here we go, we're coming down the beach road. Okay, Beach Road is a one-way road. It just goes in the direction of Walker Street. And here we go. This is Patia. Welcome to Beach Road, Patia, Thailand. 
Again, folks, sorry about keep adjusting this thing. It's a beautiful, sunny, windy day here. And right here is the Holiday Inn. And I want to tell you, folks, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of corporate America. I'm more about places, character. If, if you said, hey, man, uh, you know, where's, what hotel should I stay? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, okay, no, we're just past the Soy One. So the Holiday Inn is between, you know, Patty and the, uh, the Dolphin, the, the end of the road right there, so to speak, and Soy One. Now we're already at Soy Two. But that's just for reference. And the Soys just go up in numbers all the way to Walker Street. So about the, the hill, the, the, not the Hilton, the Holiday Inn. I probably wouldn't recommend the Holiday Inn anywhere in the world except for here in Patia. The way they've got that set up, if you get a room facing this direction, facing the bay, okay, we're at Soy 5 now, McDonald's, but if you get a room facing this direction, it has a little balcony. The shower is made of glass, okay? Well, not made of glass, but it's a glass enclosure. You can be sitting there chilling in the tub, and there's Soy 6, the infamous Soy 6. But at that, that Holiday Inn, you can be chilling in the tub or taking a shower, and you're looking out all over the city. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's a great setup. Uh, staff in there are top-notch. And the only way I was able to stay in there is a buddy of mine came into town and had a bunch of points. And we actually got two VIP uh, rooms in there. We got, well, we got the VIP treatment. And it was, it was a great stay. And I said, wow, you know, all these hotels here in this city and the Holiday Inn has got one of the most badass rooms. And it's not just for one thing. Again, it's all about the experience. It's the view. The view. The the way the room is set up. The staff. I mean, I'm going to tell you, we got catered to. There is no doubt. Alright, folks. So once you, once you pass Soy 6 back there, and right in front of us, this brown building where it says Hilton. You know, the Hilton's on top of Patia Central Festival, which is like the mall. But before we get there, we're going to turn left right here on Padia Klang. Now Padia Klang runs all the way back to Sukhumvit Road. And where AMA Fashion is, is basically near the corner of Padia Klang and 2nd Road. So I kind of brought you in from the beach side. This fool will kill me here. But for reference, that's where that's where we're that's where we're going. That's where this place is. And it's right here. Right here to my right. So I'm gonna turn it in here. And here we are. AMA fashion. Sorry about the camera sliding around. So, all right, so I'm gonna show you this place. Here I am right here, AMA Fashion. And for reference, all right, that's Second Road, and then we're right here at Patia Klang. So it's Patia Second Road, and this is AMA Fashion. And then down that way is the beach, and it's right across from this bowling bowling plaza this used to be a supermarket but it's not anymore so i'm gonna go on inside and pick up my pants okay my friends this is the inside of ama fashion it's where i got my suits done this is my good buddy right here took care of me 
and he's got my pants fixed up here. So I gotta take a look at these pants. Hello, my friend, how are you? Oh man, I, I gotta steal a beer. Yes, good. Folks, if you come here and see my friends, this, this is where you need to come. They got a wide selection of fabrics here. All right, any, any type of fabric color that you want, they've got it. If they don't have it, they can get it quickly. They know what they're doing. It's a fair price and excellent service. I'm, I'm telling you right now. So let me check out my pants. I'll be right back with you. All right, folks. I said I was going to drink a beer, but I forgot. I'm riding that motorbike. So I'm having a Coke. Don't think I'm drinking and driving because I'm not. But uh, again, look around the shop. I got my pants. I just tried them on. These things are fit like a glove. They're from Carhartt. I'll talk about those things later, but, but they were uh, a little too big. So these guys have got me squared away. They fit like a glove. So right quick before I forget, what, what time you guys open, my friend? 10 to 11. Okay, so 10 in the morning to 11 at night, folks. Um, so they're pretty much open every day, all day long. They're open late. Um, you come see my friend right here, or my friend over here. And there's a couple more folks and uh, the boss man. I don't see him or I don't see him must be taking care of business. But I'm gonna tell you, if you come to Patia, if you're from the West, unless you've got a suit here before custom made, you probably don't own a custom suit, if I had to guess. And you probably don't like wearing a suit. But the reason you don't like wearing a suit because that damn thing came off the rack and it don't fit. Most people in America, what do they do? They pull, it, they pull it off the rack, they go get it altered, but the alterations are probably just taking up the length. And you, you look like a bag of dog shit walking around, you know? Look like a bag of donuts. But if you happen to come to this region, especially if you're in Patia, you need to stop here and invest in a suit. And it's an investment in yourself, in your appearance. Because like I said on the way over here, nobody, nobody 99% of the people you do business with, unless you're a real estate agent taking clients around, they're not going to see your Mercedes. They're not going to see your, your house in the swim tennis community with the country club, whatever. They are going to see you and your appearance and what you're wearing. And if you're wearing a cheap ass suit, you're going to be fidgety. Okay. Another rookie cameraman mistake. If you're shooting video on your iPhone, you need to put it in airplane mode because anytime a telemarketer calls you, they're going to screw up your video. Anyhow, back to investing in a suit. An investment in a suit is an investment in yourself and your appearance. So if I had everything to do over, I would not, as a young guy, I would, I would not put priority in my car or where I lived. I would probably invest in my attire and my appearance. If you come here to this region, especially if you're in Patia, bring your ass right here to AMA Fashion, see my friends, and get you three suits. That's my recommendation. You need three custom-made suits, and then you can pretty much wear those, you know, full-time, you know, back during the work week. I mean, if you wear if you wear a suit every day, then obviously you need to you're gonna need more than that. But the average dude. If you invest in three suits, custom fit, custom made suits, uh, folks, you're ahead of the game. I don't care if you're wearing them to work, you're wearing them to the club, you know, wear them to the damn grocery store. If you're a single guy, I'm going to tell you, from an old school player, women are crazy about a sharp dress guy. Just watch my video when I was in uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai. The belly dancer pegged me the minute I walked in. Was it because, you know, I'm the best looking guy in the camp? No, I was the best dressed dude in the camp. All right, enough of this. Come see my, my friends here. They're open from uh, 10 a.m. till 11. And I showed you where they're located at, right here off of Second Road. It's within walking distance of Central. So if, if you're confused, if you, if you get off at Central, start walking down Second Road and you're just gonna take a left right here at the corner at that police box. You'll be right here, walking distance. 
All right, folks, I gotta get back on the motorbike, get back to business. If you come see my friends here, you tell them that Marco sent you, show them this video, and uh, they'll get a laugh out of it. All right, have a great day. All right, folks, I'm finished my Coke here. You know, like I said, I'm a hard beer drinker. I'm a hard beer drinker. I don't apologize for that. And I don't try to hide it. So when he handed me that beer, all I was thinking was beer. Free beer. Then I said, holy shit, I'm on a damn motorbike. I can't get free beer. So it's a lesson to you. When you go to AMA Fashion, if you come here to AMA Fashion to get you a uh, suit, Don't drive your damn motorbike here because you can't enjoy the free amenities. Make sure you walk over here, take a taxi. And when them gentlemen offer you a free beer, hell yeah, get it. So, hope I inspired you guys to uh, come get you a suit. Really nice people here, but. I'm just going to tell you, I, don't, I love wearing them three-piece suits out. And I don't wear it with the tie. I mean, I, I, I keep a tie handy in case I, I needed to swap to that move. But, but my look, as you can see, I go with three-piece with no tie. And... Everybody's got their own opinion, their own style. But the uh, the package deal they'll give you, I mean, the prices are different, obviously. Everybody in the comments always bash me because I don't always put prices of things, right? We'll okay, I got it. I could do a better job of putting the prices of hotels and stuff like that. But if you ask me how much a suit is, I can't tell you that because, you know, it depends on what size you need, how much fabric they have to use. Um, you're going to have to just come here and talk to these folks. You know, I think the, the, the first step is to come here, talk to them, let them get your measurements, start looking at some fabric. And obviously you're concerned with the price. Are they the cheapest? I would say no. I, I would say you could probably go down one of these other shops and probably get some some uh, a cheaper price, but I wouldn't. Okay, the prices here are reasonable, and maybe they are cheaper than some of them. But when it when it comes to getting a custom made suit, you don't want to go to the cheapest shop. You want to go to the best. And I'm not I'm not saying. You know, I think some of the places in Bangkok are way overrated. I think they're uh, they're just overhyped and overpriced. And at this place here, the quality is top notch, and the price is fair, or I would not be recommending them. But I I definitely advise you not to go to any of these other shops. I mean, I'm not going to single anybody out. But these other shops that you're going to pass while you're going down, you know, just in your, your normal travels in the city. All right, I'm, I'm almost done with my free Coke here, and I'm about to roll. Mm. Okay, they put my... Put my pants in a uh, sack there. And we're ready to roll. I think I'm going to take you for a drive through Walking Street. Uh, only just because during, during the day, Walking Street's open to vehicular traffic. And I just cut through there. Just take a ride through there.